This just breaking, just in. Lisa Page, Fox News has learned she will not appear in front of lawmakers tomorrow. She will not comply with the subpoena. We'll give you those new developments straight ahead. It's happening in just days. You could this now a Fox News alert breaking just moments ago. Our own Catherine Herridge reporting that the corrupt FBI lawyer Lisa Page now will in fact not comply with the subpoena and will not be testifying before a closed door session of Congress tomorrow, which she said up until about an hour ago she would be attending. Here with the reaction, author of the New York Times bestseller, Trump's America, the truth about America's great comeback. And he is also the executive producer of the first American, which is now available on Amazon Prime Video, former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor, Newt Gingrich is with us. Um, she is now citing, if I may, Mr. Speaker, the idea that, in fact, congressional source said that they did expect her, but in fact, she's claiming that she didn't get the materials from Congress that she thought she would have. Well, I mean, who, who knows what the deal is here? Uh, increasingly, these guys sound like the old mafia bosses uh, who used to show up for the Kefauver hearings many, many years ago uh, in the early days of television, and they would sit there and they would plead the fifth, and for the country at large it was a huge spectacle, and it kind of gave you the signals who's guilty. Um, you're discovering that at the very senior levels of the FBI, and I believe of the Justice Department under Obama, you had a level of corruption that makes it uh, very dangerous for them to show up uh, and to actually testify. And so I think their lawyers legitimately under our system are saying to them, to protect yourself, you cannot go under oath and start talking about this stuff or you're gonna cre either going to reveal information that will put you in jail or you're going to end up committing perjury. And so I think you're seeing a real uh, example. I mean, it sounds to me like if they didn't have a whole lot to hide, they wouldn't be hiding. And what we're seeing is people who I think have a lot to hide. Well, I, what's amazing, listen, I would actually say, and I said this about the FBI director, James Comey, whoever allowed him to write that book, who was his attorney, and go on that book tour, I think did not serve him particularly well. And I reminded him at the time he had the right to remain silent. Lisa Page was the top attorney for Andrew McCabe, the deputy director of the FBI and the boyfriend of, of Peter Strzok is at the heart of all of this. She's involved in the text messages. Uh, we will stop him. Insurance policy. Calling Trump every name in the book, etc. Um, I honestly feel when you think of the ramifications and how profound it is that they wanted to literally alter an, a presidential election, I, I, in a way, I don't think I would allow her to testify. Look, I, I think you're faced with what is increasingly obvious as a bureaucratic coup d'etat, where they literally were trying to prop up Secretary Clinton, no matter how guilty she was, and they were trying to find some device to block uh, Donald Trump, uh, no matter how innocent he was. Uh, and I think this is, I mean, if you want to see evidence that there is a deep state, all you have to do is follow this couple all of their various tweets and text messages, I mean, I meant text messages, and you begin to realize um, there was something profoundly wrong going on. Yeah, well, obviously there really is, because also Peter Strzok was the one writing the exoneration. He's the one that replaced gross negligence with extreme carelessness. He's the one that interviewed Michael Flynn. He didn't think Michael Flynn was lying. He interviewed Hillary Clinton. Three days later, she was exonerated, but he had been building the exoneration case since May. This, did, this happened in July. Uh, on top of that, they, he was at the heart of the, the start of what is the, the phony Russia case. This guy was up to his eyeballs in every single solitary thing leading up to this election with the desire to rush the Russia investigation so that they could get Trump. This is about impacting an election. Look, look I think for everyday common sense non-lawyers, and I'm not a lawyer, all you have to do is ask yourself the following picture. Paul Manafort, who has not been convicted yet of anything, is apparently spending 23 hours a day in solitary confinement. Meanwhile, every single person in the Clinton team, no matter what they've done, 
has basically been ignored, exonerated, allowed to go free. Now, I mean, if you want to see how sick the system is, look at the way they're treating Paul Manafort and look at the way they treated Hillary's aides, including the guy who took a hammer to break up the uh, smartphones and took bleach bit to destroy the uh, memory of the computers. You say to yourself, how come all these people had nothing done to them and without even being convicted, Paul Manafort is in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day. For a and it old, tells you we have a very sick system. A 2005 tax case. And remember what the judge said, uh, Judge Ellis III, that they're putting the screws to Manafort for the purpose that he will sing or compose. And that the idea is to use him to either prosecute or impeach Donald Trump. The judge said that in the case. Let me move on. You see the left's reaction, <laughs> fill in the blank. They had it all prepared uh, against, against whoever the president chose. Your reaction to that and of course the president's selection. This is one of the most important decisions any president will make. Look, I'm gonna go out on a limb tonight. I believe that uh, Judge Kavanaugh was so impressive last night that his introduction by the president, his own speech, the very appearance of his two daughters and his wife and his mother and his father, I believe that this is such a remarkable and easily defendable person. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go out tonight and say I believe at least three Democrats are going to ignore the suggestion of the Democratic whip Dick Durbin that they ought to commit suicide and vote no and they're going to vote yes and I think you're going to see a real split between the radical extremist wing of the Democratic Party and people who believe that the system really should work oh. and that they really do want to find a way to work in the system. The very reliable Chuck Schumer votes of Claire McCaskill and Nelson and Heitkamp and Tester and the rest of them, it's going to be interesting to watch the election year conversion, um, which isn't real. Mr. Speaker, um, great to see you. Congrats on the book. We appreciate you being with us. Always good to be with you. When we Thanks. come back, breaking news. The Hill's John Solomon is here with his breaking news report on how the FBI could have now had multiple versions, believe it or not, of this bought and paid for Hillary dossier and Greg Jarrett as we continue. Her salon was booked for weeks. Tonight, the Hills John Solomon has a brand new report. Look at this uh, title, this headline. Did FBI get bamboozled by multiple versions of Trump dossier? John Solomon in the report writes, quote, memos the FBI is turning over to Congress show the Bureau possessed at least three versions of the dossier and it's mostly unverified allegations of collusion. Joining us now, he's also, by the way, the author of, there's John Solomon of The Hill, and the Russia, uh, author of this book, by the way, two weeks away now, The Russia Hoax, the illicit scheme to clear Hillary Clinton frame Donald Trump, Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett. Okay, so let me get this straight. As the Nunes memo pointed out, as the Grassley-Graham memo pointed out, the bulk of information for the FISA war was that phony Clinton bought and paid for dossier with Russian lies put together by a foreign national, multiple versions, none of them verified, but all used to present it to a court and spread by people like John Brennan? Yeah, I think you have it right, Sean. What we know now is that the FBI, according to Pete Stroke's own emails to his own intelligence team, uh, they got one version uh, from the liberal journalist uh, David Korn, uh, a Trump antagonist, one from uh, uh, Senator McCain, which came from uh, the Steele people, and one that uh, came from Glenn Simpson, who testified he didn't give a version of the dossier to the FBI. So they have three different versions, and they're talking about it. And I, I was thinking about how to explain this, why this is important. It's, in the intelligence world, it's called circular reporting. It's a real problem. It corrupts the intelligence process. But if I went to Amazon and I bought your book uh, a, few, uh, a few days ago, and then three days later it comes, and then three days later after that it comes again, and then maybe a week later it comes again, a fourth time it comes again, you're going to check your credit card, make sure you weren't being charged for it. You're going to call Amazon and say, why do you keep sending me this here? The FBI doesn't do that. In fact, it, it gets more and more excited about investigating Trump, even though they know it's the fruit of a single tree that comes from a political uh, motive. Uh, Hillary Clinton defeating, try, trying to defeat Donald Trump. It's bad intelligence work. That's what everybody I've interviewed inside the intelligence community is telling me today.
Uh, Greg, in your book, I actually know the pages because I've been <laughs> studying your book and tearing it up. I actually have one version I tore, I tear out the pages. <laughs> but I think it's 100, page 100, 103, because we talked about it. Right. You actually write about that. Was there another version with Harry Reid given to, oh, yeah. by John Brennan? Yeah, look, eh, the dossier never gets old. I've read it a hundred times. I never fail to uh, break out in laughter. I mean, it's a work of pure fiction, a bad novelist who continues to rework his twaddle, so multiple versions of it. No wonder there were so many people involved in this, propagating this thing and contributing to it. Uh, you know, Clinton acolyte, Sidney Blumenthal, Corey Shearer. You've got John Brennan who pretends to be the CIA director, but he's a Hillary Clinton lackey and sycophant. Um, and you've got Glenn Simpson, who this is going to end badly for him. I've read through his testimony Why? twice now. Why? It is inconceivable the statements he makes that he claims he didn't uh, give the dossier to people. When do we ever people. get an arrest in all of this? When do we well, ever get... Well, I think get... Charles Grassley is on to Glenn Simpson. What uh, about Comey and McCabe? And look at Str look at the news about Lisa Page tonight. And Peter Strzok supposed to testify publicly. Oh yeah. Well, you know, I, I sent you a note a few hours ago telling you Lisa Page is not going to testify. She received. Oh, by the a, way, he did, and he yeah, said it yesterday <laughs> too, just in case. She received a subpoena in personam. That means you appear in person. There are no conditions to it. You don't.